Good morning, everybody. I hope y'all having a good day. I'm doing good as always. We did some yard work yesterday, just fixing up the backyard, making it look nice. So I'm gonna be pretty tired in the morning. By the time y'all see this movie, I'll probably be super sore and not able to get out of bed. But hey, the backyard looks nice now. You know what isn't looking nice now though? Shadical, the YouTuber who makes a lot of Fortnite content, he's in a bit of a controversy himself and I cannot believe I'm late on this, but you know what, you guys will just see what's going on with Shadical. Before we get into that, I would like to remind you guys that only 4% of y'all that are watching this video right now are subscribed, so if you wouldn't mind subscribing right now, I'd very much appreciate it. Now let's see what's going on with Shadical. So for those of you guys that don't know, like I said earlier, Shadical is a Fortnite YouTuber that makes a bunch of Fortnite content, nothing you haven't seen before. Think of somebody like Kiwis. You know what? Kiwis is a good example to compare Shadical to because what I'm about to show you is some pretty crazy stuff. So it all started right here from Mr. Top 5, somebody that Shadical worked with in the past. Right here he says, Unfortunately, we are no longer associating with Shadical anymore, which is why we haven't been making videos with him for the past year. I can't go into much detail right now, but this is needed to be said. He is no longer, and hasn't been, part of our group for months. Now this got me thinking, what did this Shadical guy do? Well, there's a 38 second clip out there of Shadical admitting to some pretty awful things. You want to know why I made that Kiwis comparison earlier? Well, you're about to find out why. I mean, we're really hot. Like I said before, like, you know, it was about underage girls and... You know, like I said that, you know, underage girls got involved and I was being reckless. And, you know, you know, like I told you I had like pictures on my phone and um, I think I told you I got a fan involved at one point and um, trying to think, you know, when, she, when Sarah was under the influence of you know, when she was drinking, sometimes I'd force her to have sex with me. That's right, you heard that right. Shadical is literally Red Kiwi's part two. He said stuff about what he did with underage girls. He mentioned how somebody who would get drunk, he would take advantage of that. Shadical, of course, the Fortnite creator, guy who makes content for kids by the way, majority of the people that watch his channel are underage kids, likes to do awful things with underage kids. And he admitted it right here in this clip that I just showed you guys. Just like how I was pondering yesterday how somebody could throw away their success so easily and so willingly, again, this has me thinking, how could somebody throw away their success so willingly? And while looking up more Shadical stuff, I actually came across the full thread of one of his former editors and you know what, let me just read it for you guys because this is some stuff that this guy likes to say. I want to start this off with the fact that I started working with Shadical as his editor back in October of 2020 and he seemed like a great and honest guy. Speeding up to a few weeks ago, I had heard about allegations against Shadical regarding blank. Shadical to me never seemed like this kind of guy, but there's evidence at the beginning of this thread and in that video of him, he admits to having pictures of underage girls, including a fan. He even implies that what he did was wrong. This made me very uncomfortable when first seeing this video and still does every time I watch it. So I immediately resigned from my editing job with him. Also, my friend and former editor for Shadical, who is underage, quit immediately as I showed him the evidence. I wanted to bring attention to this because someone like Shadical shouldn't be roaming free and possibly putting more underage children at risk. I believe that he shouldn't have such a platform like YouTube, which is obviously an easy place for him to find victims. Also, I don't want people to pity me please, I am posting this to make it known to the public that Shadical is not a safe person, especially if you're underage. To my knowledge, his local police have been tipped off and hopefully he will get the punishment he deserves. I mean come on now. This guy basically is like, yeah, don't pity me, this is the facts about Shadical, here's a clip of the stuff that he said, and I just gotta wonder, again, I know I say this all the time, why do people throw away their success like this? YouTube is such a perfect job for people, you're your own boss, you can make content whenever you want and you'll get money, you'll get paid to make Fortnite content in Shadical's case, or in my case I'll get paid to talk about Shadical being such an awful human being and that's the freedom you get. You work for your freedom of choice and you throw it all away because you can't control yourself. I can compare this to the Red Kiwi situation. The dude was taking advantage of somebody who was underage for his own personal gain. And now I can compare it to all this EDP stuff that's been going around. EDP took advantage of somebody and EDP went way overboard, the worst I've ever seen on YouTube. 
modern day YouTube anyways, and it just boggles my mind why people are so willing to throw away such a easy, not even easy, just a job that everybody wants. People like Shadical and all the others who are willing to do such vile things to get their sick kicks are awful human beings, and there is some sort of correlation between YouTube fame and wanting to take advantage of other people, and I hate it. I hate the fact that people are so willing to take advantage of others for their own personal gain. Especially in the case of Shadical for being such a sick human being to begin with. Apparently he's even worse as I was reading this comment right here. When I first saw this, I wasn't surprised about this. He was toxic, his fans were just as toxic, lots of drama happened in there. His fans were just as bad as he is. I've seen someone say the n-word in a separate chat. Shadical needs to be stopped. Forget the n-word man. Shadical was taking advantage of his underage fans for his own personal gain. Because he is a sick man who is sick in the head and needs to be stopped just like the post says. Even the comments on his latest YouTube video are getting in on the news. It's over for Shadical. There is no way he's going to be able to come back from this. Just like EDP, Shadical's probably going to make his own website now. You know, perhaps on Shadical's new website, if he ever makes one, he could play a lot of Madden as there seems to be a lot of people, well, one specific person, that really wants him to play Madden. In all seriousness though, Shadical is over. There is no way somebody can come back from this. That is clearly his voice in that clip I showed you earlier talking about what he's done, what he did. Why do these creators on YouTube have to be such awful people behind the scenes. It seems like the most positive looking ones, the one that makes the most kid content, are the ones that end up being the creepiest overall. Like have y'all heard of that blippy dude? I ain't gonna say much about him, but look up blippy Harlem Shake and you'll know exactly what I mean. Kids creator does something really really weird back then. But what do you guys think about this whole Shadical situation? Is he gonna get away with it? Is he gonna get caught? Well, people are starting to find out that he exposed whoever recorded that video. Thank you for recording that video because this guy does not deserve his platform on YouTube. He does not deserve a job where he can do this kind of stuff. And then behind the scenes, he acts a scummy, scummy person. Make sure to tell me your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. For some reason, man, there are just there's just some problem with people who have a lot of money and influence and power doing terrible, terrible things to underage people. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, with all that out of the way, I will see you guys later.